Okay. So thank you. Thank you so much, Brad, for joining this conversation, which is extreme gratitude. And I'm really, really grateful to you for accepting my invitation and, you know, spending around half an hour or one hour of time with me <laughs> to discuss on the two big topics, which is assumptions and judgments. And uh, what I would like uh, is that if you could, you know, help me and the audience and talk about how tapping can help uh in you know addressing these two issues especially uh in relation to the topic of relationship because in you know relationship be it any kind of relationship we tend to assume and take judgment and how to avoid you know how to stop ourselves from going this into this trap so yes uh, that's that's these are the two top topics where i uh, know i would request you to you know speak about <laughs> Sounds good. And and thanks Advait for having me on. I I appreciate the opportunity to be of service and to to share this tapping work so that people I mean might and I wear this blue wristband that says cultivate peace. And that, okay. that's, that's my marching orders. My my job. I keep reminding myself. And and definitely uh, assumptions and and judgment are two things that really uh limit our sense of peace and right. take us out of it. It's um and they come from a place of fear. Mm -hmm. when we're when we're going and 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 making assumptions about people there's a it's a fear response something something's pushing our buttons mm -hmm. and and what we want to recognize is there are buttons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know whoever we're in relationship with whether it's our relationship who we're married to who we're dating mm -hmm. uh it could be our relationship with a family member it could be a, a momentary relationship in terms of the the cashier at the store you mm -hmm. know or somebody that i'm on the train mm -hmm. with there's right. there's a relationship a very quick relationship there and i'm making assumptions and i'm making judgments because something about that person is pushing buttons that were there probably long before that person <laughs> ever mm -hmm. showed up mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh that's why mm -hmm. i i love the um the quote from Walt Whitman i have it up here on my wall mm -hmm. be curious not judgmental so right. when we find ourselves going into judgment mm -hmm. looking at okay what's what's going on here so it, it it's like changing the the phrasing of if i if i'm judging someone i'm thinking what's wrong with this person mm -hmm. but if they're doing something that i think is wrong mm -hmm. it's like changing that to a curious thing of hmm what's wrong with this person what's mm -hmm. going on inside of them that's causing them to behave in this way now the problem is that we are as human beings we're meaning making machines and we generally assume it means something about us. So if you're talking to me in a certain way and I'm going what's wrong with you? Part of me is actually saying what do they think is wrong with me that they're talking to me in that way? Because hmm. if I'm totally at peace if I'm feeling okay this isn't about me I can look at it and say, "Oh, gee, what, you know, what's what's wrong with you know, with you that you're you're feeling this way that you're saying these things?" Okay. So, so it really this is where it ties together judgments and assumptions. Mm -hmm. I'm judging what you're doing because I'm assuming something about it that's bad. Mm -hmm. And most likely, I'm assuming it's about me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, right. that egocentrism, I'm 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 assuming it's about me and there was a great um there there's a television show a classic television show in mm -hmm. the United States years ago called The Odd Couple based on okay. a based on a movie which was based on a play by Neil Simon mm -hmm. and uh and there's a great scene where where Felix is in is in court and he holds up the sign that says mm -hmm. assume and we all know that when we assume we make an ass of you, <laughs> of you and, and me <laughs> <laughs> right and, and that's so true. So when we look at when I'm deciding right. uh, what the other person is thinking, mm -hmm. if I'm assuming mm. what you're thinking, I'm making an ass of both of us. Mm. And uh, you know, we have we have an expression about oh, you're putting words in my mouth. Mm. If you're if you're if I think you're saying something, saying that uh, what I'm saying, mm. you're putting words in my mouth. Right. But if even if you're not saying anything. You're putting thoughts in my head, hmm. and if I'm making an assumption about you, I'm putting words in your mouth, and I'm putting thoughts in your head, and I have no idea. Hmm. Most of the time, 
most of the time when we're judging what someone's doing or saying and we're thinking it's about us the assumptions we're making we have no idea and it, it probably isn't that at all mm. so many times where i've been upset with somebody and or i've seen someone else do this and mm. say you know it really upsets me that you're saying this about me and they're like what mm. or mm. or likewise someone says that to me it's like you know i can't mm. believe you said this about me and it's like well you mm. just made an assumption because that's not even remotely mm. what i was thinking mm. I, mm. I my thoughts were miles away mm. so these assumptions and judgments are a thief of our joy and our peace of mind so we want to mm. you know move through those move through those incorrect thoughts those misunderstandings that uh, are robbing us of peace and get back to a place of okay and now mm. i can look at what's going on and go instead of saying what's wrong with you i could say hey what might be wrong with you and how can i help or you know maybe i can just stand here or maybe i can just walk away but it's not something that i have to be upset about right right no i i i totally get that what you are saying brad but you know my question is like uh... how do we become self aware that we have this assumptions going on in our mind yeah. every now and then every day right so that because i believe that okay if we are aware about our thoughts then i think it's little bit easy not yeah. to go in that assumption mode yeah and one of it one of the things is to just start allowing yourself to know the truth this is this is a truth that has gone you know dates back at least to the stoics you know the um Greek and Roman philosophers who said the only suffering that happens is because of your thoughts. Mm. So if you come from from that assumption mm. <laughs> <a> positive <laughs> assumption mm -hmm. assume any time just coming starting starting from this moment right now mm -hmm. any time you're upset about something mm. allow yourself to have that thought what is it inside of me what is the thought that I am having Mm. even though i think it's something that they're doing i'm going to and play with at least play with the idea mm -hmm. that i'm having a thought that is causing this discomfort because any emotional discomfort you're experiencing is because of the thoughts that you're having about it mm. now some people will say all suffering is because of your thought mm. now if somebody is uh you know if you, if you accidentally get hit by a car Mm. I'm not going to say if you're lying there with a broken leg, I'm not going to say it's just your thoughts that are causing you the suffering. <laughs> That's uh yeah. You know, yeah. maybe at a at a metaphysical level there may be truth to that if it, it's like oh, it's all consciousness <laughs> and it's just your thoughts that are creating this suffering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, any right. emotional um any mm. emotional suffering that we're feeling mm. is because of our thoughts and we can see this because we can be experiencing something that we find upsetting and someone else next to us might be saying yeah that's not bothering me mm. so uh, some people might even enjoy it <laughs> you know you can watch some politician talking mm. and one person is like oh my god this is so upsetting and another person is going yeah yeah <laughs> so it's like okay mm. it's not what that person is doing or saying it's our reaction to it our thoughts about it right so so starting giving yourself permission from this moment on to mm. have that thought of okay if i'm experiencing suffering mm. if i that's causing me to make assumptions that's causing me to judge there is i play a part in this mm. the next thing is giving ourselves permission to do this tapping process right so for anyone any, anyone who might be watching has has come onto this that that doesn't know what what i mean by tapping uh EFT which is short for emotional freedom techniques is this very simple technique based on acupuncture where instead of sticking needles in our body we're just tapping with our fingertips on these same meridian points they're used have been used in acupuncture mm -hmm. for thousands of years right and this down regulates the nervous system it clears out stress plenty of scientific evidence validating this it if you're if you're not familiar with it you might say it looks strange but it's not yeah. weird it's yeah. no more weird than than breathing or getting a massage using the way the body works to experience well-being right yeah. so when we are going into that that place of emotional discomfort and we're we're having those thoughts that tell us i should be upset right now 
where we go into fight or flight, it may mm. be a very, a very small level of stress. It may be a heightened right. level of stress. Right. But this helps us to change our state and right. start to calm down and say, okay, here's this. Now I can be more aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And allowing ourselves to, again, go from judgment to curiosity and go, isn't that interesting that I'm having this response? This person is pushing my buttons, mm -hmm. whether it's a total stranger or my significant other, mm -hmm. my spouse, my children, mm -hmm. my parents, my whoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm having this response and I'm allowing myself to calm down because there's a part of me that mm -hmm. is insisting that I feel bad, that mm -hmm. I should feel bad. Mm -hmm. And if I do that, I'm I'm screwed. Mm. <laughs> I, I, right. I'm like, okay, this person, and, and I'm making myself a victim. Mm -hmm. I can't change what this person is doing. This right. person is is saying whatever they're saying, or they're just giving me a look, mm -hmm. and I'm making assumptions about what that mm -hmm. look means. Mm -hmm. And now I'm trapped. I am out of control. I am. I have no choice. If this person, because I have rules, I have these rules about feeling. If somebody looks at me cross-eyed, mm. I have to be upset. Mm. I have mm. to feel, I have to judge them. I have to think that they're a jerk. I have to feel emotionally comfortable. I have to assume mm. that they don't like me or they think right. I'm an idiot mm. or whatever. Mm. And it's not, it's not my thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's just what's happening. And I'm right. a victim. It's like, okay, I want to use this process to go, okay. Mm. All right, Sparky. Let's let's calm down here. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's relax a little bit and let's and let's take a look at this. Right. What is the assumption that I'm making? Right. Why am I making an ass of myself and this other person? Mm. And is it even necessary? Because chances are very good that what I'm thinking mm. is it's so far, far off the mm. mark. Right. Right. And mm. and even if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Even if I, my assumption is correct, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you're telling me I'm an idiot. And mm. they might say, yes, I do think you're an idiot, mm. but so what? They may think that, uh, they may have all kinds of thoughts that I don't mm. agree with mm. that, that don't upset me. You know, mm. they might, they might like a particular type of music mm -hmm. that I don't like. Mm. You know, it's like they might say country western is the best kind of music and I like mm -hmm. rock and roll. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to get upset about that. I can just go, I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with them that they like that, but I'm not going to get upset about that. So mm -hmm. if they say, I think you're a jerk, then it's like, or, or I think you're an idiot, then it's like, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. If they if they were to say, um, you know, so, so for instance, if I were, if I were to say to you, I'd be, I think you're an idiot. Mm. That might push a button. It might not. If mm. I were to say to you, you are a purple dingle hopper, <laughs> chances are you're going to go, okay, <laughs> but it's not going to, but unless there's some connection to that, unless you have a button mm -hmm. labeled purple dingle hopper that mm -hmm. I'm pushing, mm -hmm. it's not going to cause a reaction in you. Mm -hmm. It's only your thoughts. So if you have no, Pre mm. preconceived thoughts about purple dingle hoppers, it's not going to push a button. But if I say, I think you're an idiot, it's only going to push a button for you. If you have a thought of, yeah, sometimes I feel like an idiot and ouch, that hurts. Pushing that button hurts. You've pushed a sore spot on me. Mm. Now, if I think, but if you have this thought of, I'm not an idiot, I mm. may not be perfect, but you mm. know, I'm pretty sharp. I'm smart enough to, to know things. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know everything, mm -hmm. but I'm, but I'm definitely not an idiot. Mm -hmm. Then if I am saying you're an idiot, it's it's not mm -hmm. going to push that button like that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so so right. that's the thing is when when someone is pushing a button, acknowledging that's my button. Mm -hmm. It was already there, and and then here's the great thing. Mm -hmm. That thing that previously would mm -hmm. have upset us. Mm. Now it's like, oh, that person has just shown me a button that I have. And I'll bet that this button gets pushed on a regular basis mm -hmm. or has been or at least has been pushed at times that mm -hmm. has really caused me upset and mm -hmm. has limited my success in life. Mm. Because 
if I have this button about if people think I'm an idiot, I have to feel bad, mm -hmm. then I'm going to avoid people. I'm mm -hmm. going to avoid situations. I'm going to avoid opportunities and I'm going to mm -hmm. limit what's possible for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, for like right. for me, mm -hmm. I have over a thousand videos on YouTube right. where I'm tapping on my face. Right. And some people think that makes you look like an idiot. If I had this fear of every time someone thought I look like an idiot, I have mm -hmm. to feel bad. Mm -hmm. I'd be screwed. I couldn't have all these videos out there mm -hmm. on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And I would limit the, uh, the ability I have to be of service to the world. I would mm -hmm. limit the opportunities. Like here, hanging out with you, Abbott, and having fun and <laughs> talking to a cool person and, and being able to to, you know, make a difference for other people. Absolutely. I couldn't do that right. if I had that. So if someone says to me, I think you're an idiot and it's mm -hmm. upsetting me, it's like, oh, thank you for showing me that I still have a button. And mm. now I can and now I can clear that. Mm. In fact, yeah. you know what? We should we should probably do a tapping round. If you have any thoughts about that, but let's maybe we can do a tapping round on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. And okay. in fact, uh, but, but before uh, going to that, uh, Brad, I have a couple of questions. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, one thing, uh, I'll I'll take you in uh, you know one or two three minutes back, which you which you where you mentioned that you know uh, give yourself permission to you know come out of this. I mean, I have seen you using this uh, you know words very often in your almost all the videos. What do you mean by that when you say give yourself permission? What what is that does that mean? I know a little bit, but if I want you to, you know, explain it. Yeah. Yeah, excellent question, Abid. Um I, I often don't think about explaining that to folks, but um but it is really the key. And in fact, that's part of it, the tapping for me is because we have we have all these beliefs, these these beliefs that run our lives. And we often don't think of them as beliefs. We think of them, these are truths. Mm. You know, you you should be upset about certain things. You should mm. you should keep your room clean. You should make your bed. Mm. They're not just beliefs. That's that's a those are things that our parents have taught us are truths. Mm. Um, you should only make so much money. Mm. You know, you should make mm. enough to pay your bills, but you shouldn't mm. make enough to make people jealous. Mm -hmm. So we have all of these beliefs, and mm. when our um, when our parents and, and our peers and our teachers mm -hmm. or whoever are, are teaching us these things, mm -hmm. they're teaching us these things as facts. Mm. So if you're learning math, two plus two equals four, mm. there's no, there's no, you're not allowed to say it's something else. Right. You know, and we can say, all right, mm. right as we understand math, two plus two equals four. Mm. But all these other things are just made up, like this idea that you should make your bed. Mm. If our parents said you should make your bed, but, and it's not negotiable. Mm. So we don't have permission to say otherwise. You should make your bed. Mm -hmm. No, that's not necessary. We don't have permission to change the rules. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking at our limiting beliefs, these beliefs that run our lives, like mm -hmm. I should be upset when somebody looks at me cross-eyed. I mm. should be upset when somebody says you're an idiot. In general, we are taught that we're not allowed to change those rules. Mm. So that's why I say permission. It's giving yourself permission to reconsider it. Mm. And we are so programmed to not, here's the rules, you do not change them. You do not negotiate them. You do not, you know, compromise them. And, and so we feel locked. So if we try to change that, if mm -hmm. I have, if I try to say, well, maybe I don't have to feel upset if somebody mm -hmm. looks at me that way. Mm -hmm. Part of me, I have a stress response because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, you're changing the rules. You mm -hmm. don't get to change the rules. You don't get to say that you don't have to make your bed. You don't mm -hmm. get to say that two plus two equal doesn't equal four. You don't get to say you don't have to feel bad. Mm -hmm. And so we had that stress response and that's why we stay stuck. Mm -hmm. So as we tap, and we mm -hmm. calm down that stress response, right. mm -hmm. we now have permission mm -hmm. to reconsider our rules. Right. Does that make sense? That that makes sense. Plus, I uh, I want to suggest something if I can. <laughs> Absolutely. So that, uh, like, can we not use the word, uh, you know, give yourself a chance to, you know, change your thoughts rather than uh, permission? Because permission seems not exactly 
relatable at that point of time because since i know tapping i know you i know your videos and all i can understand what you are trying to say but when you know some other person will you know uh, hear this he will think uh, permission why permission i mean what like i i don't need permission myself right so i mean i i am just thinking out loud like is it yeah. uh, giving yourself well, a chance you know uh, and 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 words even though we may somewhat agree on a definition of a word Mm-hmm. different words mean different things to different people. So right. there are words that I will say and it's like this is the exact right word for me and mm-hmm. someone else is going to hear it in a different way and so that's why mm-hmm. I tell people when you're watching my videos mm-hmm. if another word feels more relevant mm-hmm. feel free to change it. Mm-hmm. However, I will mm-hmm. also say sometimes when someone has an issue with a word I'll say mm-hmm. excellent. That word is pushing a button for you. Mm-hmm. You probably want to tap on that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that's necessarily the the, yeah. the thing here. Right. but i but i will encourage you it's like there may be something about the word permission that's triggering me mm-hmm. um you know play with yeah, it but it, yeah, but but, yeah. but absolutely yeah, I mean, absolutely that's a, you know, that's a good it, that's if, a feedback for to me also i should think about you know whether the word permission is yeah. triggering me or not so yeah. thank you yeah. so i'll always say because <laughs> because there's no there's no um no way that i could do a tapping video or mm-hmm. or a tapping round mm-hmm. and every word is going to be perfect for everybody right. because there's over 8 billion different people and they hear words differently yeah. and so one word is going to be the exact right word for a bunch of people mm-hmm. and it won't and it won't resonate for other people mm-hmm. so if i were to say permission a bunch of people it's like oh yeah that's exactly it mm-hmm. and some will, if i say give myself a chance some other people are going to say oh that's exact so you know i would have to be sitting there and doing a tapping round i'm giving myself permission i'm giving myself the chance i'm giving myself the opportunity i'm giving myself <laughs> and i'd have to go through you know the entire english language oh, the and, and, you know uh, to, yeah. to exactly yeah, yeah so there's so it's recognizing that that it's never going to be right for everybody and so right. i encourage people to to play with the words and find that there's another word mm-hmm. and also when um for folks for whom english isn't their first language mm-hmm. They, they may not know that word or there may be a slightly different translation sometimes when we mm. it, it helps to to do a, a tapping round mm. in a native in your native language because mm. the, the where these limiting beliefs came from mm. may be at an age before you knew english right and right. uh and so the uh the emotional pull will mm. be there more strongly in your native language mm. So um no I you know, I so, and, so and, play yeah. always feel free to to play with those words right. and um and see it's, it's a great point that and I and I appreciate you bringing that up because that because it brings up that great point of yeah there are there are for some people that um but if I you know and so when I'm working with someone one on one if they're saying this word isn't working and and we can play with that Mm. but obviously i can there's no way to make a video that's going to um that's going to <laughs> or even if i'm doing a working with a group correct correct yeah yeah no absolutely i mean i i agree with you brad on that and i it feels like it's one to one session with me though it is going to go live i mean you know <laughs> recorded and published there but yes thank you for that i mean uh now my another question you always mention in your uh, videos that you know uh, for example like i love myself but you know part of me believes that no that's not true right so that part of me uh, i i can totally relate to that because you know somewhere you know we have that okay no i don't believe it fully uh, it's so good that you are using that but if you could explain you know wh- uh, how important it is you know to acknowledge the other part of me as well absolutely the mm. the original version of eft mm. we would say um, mm. even though i have this issue Mm. even though i'm feeling judgment even though i'm making assumptions even though i feel mm. this pain mm. I, i i deeply and completely love and accept myself yeah and for a lot of people that gets stuck the idea is we want to create a level of self acceptance even though we have this issue because what we what we resist persists mm. if we're fighting against it, if we're saying it's wrong that i feel this i'm a bad mm. person for feeling this mm. it gets stuck <clears throat> so the idea of the setup statement is Mm. Uh, it is i'm i'm making a statement of i love myself even though i'm not perfect even though i don't have all the perfect thoughts even though i don't always feel happy mm. 
but because it, it can it can shut down a lot of folks that's why i use the phrasing even though i feel this i choose to love and accept myself mm. which kind of creates a buffer it's not mm. saying that i don't love myself mm. but it's not insisting that i do love myself right now right it's it's saying i'm choosing to love myself right yeah i'm which, I'm which is yeah. a truth because if i wasn't choosing to love myself i wouldn't be tapping <laughs> the fact mm. that I'm 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 here mm. doing this mm. is is proof that even if I don't even if I can't say that I love myself at the moment right. I am obviously choosing to love myself mm. because I'm doing this process so it creates a, that that's why and I'm not saying that my way is is better than somebody who still uses the original language in of deep link we love and accept myself mm -hmm. but for me I feel that that creates a little bit of a buffer so that that part of us that says I don't believe that I love myself mm. right now. Mm. It's like, mm. okay, we got you. I'm mm. not saying I I'm not saying I I totally love myself. Mm. I'm just saying that I'm choosing to. Right. And uh, and mm. so it gives a little more wiggle room mm. to be able to say it without shutting down. Right. Right. No. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you, Brad, so much. I mean, you know, like the way you explain, I think, you know, uh, I'm able to understand it very easily and probably you know, the audience will also get it, you know. And I think we so. are deviating from topics somewhere here and there, but I think it is it will be helpful to everyone. So, yeah. yes. Well, and it's great that you're bringing these up because these are these are questions that a lot of people might have. And, yeah, and uh, you know, and, and I'd, I'd rather have you ask it and it's like create this open and someone will go, oh, OK, that's yeah, I've never I've always wondered about that. So it's <laughs> it's all perfect. Yes, all perfect. All perfect. <laughs> okay. Yes. And now coming back to, you know, uh, give a demonstration of tapping, you know, uh, on this assumption and judgment uh, scenarios yeah. in in context of relationship. Okay. Absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, absolutely. Yes, yeah. So real quick for anyone who is not, uh, who has not done tapping before, what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, fingertips of our index and middle finger. Yeah. And we're going to gently tap on the side of our opposite hand. Um, just a gentle tapping motion. This is a self-care process. You don't want to hurt yourself. <laughs> and as we tap on the side of the hand, that's where we'll do this, the setup statement. Even though I have this issue, I choose to love and accept myself. And we'll say that three times. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to right here at the beginning of your eyebrow. And generally we tap these points between five and 10 times, but it's not an exact science. It's not, you know, if, if we're saying a longer phrase, we might end up tapping that point 20 times and, right. and that's okay. Right. So, uh, so, and, and I'll be saying different phrases on the different points in the very basic version of EFT, you would say, you know, even like, even though I'm upset, mm -hmm. so we, we'd rate ourselves on a scale of zero to 10. You know, mm. how upset do I feel on a scale of zero to 10? Oh, I'm really upset. It's like an eight. Mm. And we try to be aware of where, where we're feeling it. So, you know, for instance, with an assumption or a judgment, mm -hmm. recognizing, okay, there's, I'm feeling upset. The mm -hmm. only reason I would make an assumption or, uh, you know, feel this the assumption or this judgment is something's upset inside of me. Mm -hmm. So I, I go, okay, it feels like it's about an eight. And, and what's the physical sensation? How do I know I'm feeling this? Mm -hmm. uh, I might have this tension in my shoulders or I might mm -hmm. feel a knot in my stomach. So now I'm aware of what the problem is. It's, I feel this, uh, this physical discomfort in my stomach or my shoulders. It's about an eight and mm -hmm. it feels like it's an upset. So mm -hmm. even though I'm upset, I choose to love and accept myself. And then we'll, the basic version of EFT is we'll tap each point saying this, this upset feeling, yes. this upset yes, feeling. feeling, right? So right corner of the eye yeah right under the middle of your eye this upset feeling yeah right under your nose this upset feeling this upset feeling right under your lower lips above your chin this upset feeling this upset feeling right here where your collarbones just about come together there's a little bit of a U shape at the base of your throat and you can actually just make a fist and tap that whole area this upset feeling this upset feeling and right about four inches below your armpit yeah. Um, for the ladies, that's right about bra strap level, and I'm sure even the guys can figure out where that is. Yes. This upset feeling. This upset feeling. And then finally, the, the top of your head. So just tap it in a circle around the crown of your head. This upset feeling. This upset feeling. You take a deep breath. And let it go. And then you check again and say, okay, how upset do I feel now? If it was at an eight before, if my shoulders really tense, 
And sometimes we'll tap and it'll go from mm -hmm. an A to a zero like that. Right. That's not usually how quick it happens, but it but it definitely does happen that way sometimes. Um, you know, but sometimes it may just go from an eight to a 7.75. It's like, all right, something's moving. And what we, and, and then we can repeat the round and say, even though I still feel upset, I choose to love and accept myself. Mm. This remaining upset, this remaining upset. Right. Uh, and, and very often what happens is it's like peeling the layers of an onion mm. and we'll get more clear. So I might be tapping this upset, feeling this upset, feeling, oh my goodness, I know exactly why I'm feeling upset. This reminds mm. me of something that happened when I was in the third grade. And now I can clear something that I've been holding on to mm. for ages. I may mm. be aware of in, in terms of the assumption that I make about someone like, you know, when this, when this person says, why did you, you know, why'd you do that? And I think I'm assuming that they're calling me an idiot. Mm. It's because I'm remembering in the third grade when someone called me an idiot and mm. it really hurt. And, mm. and so I keep hearing people telling me I'm an idiot, even though that's not what they're saying, but that's what I hear mm. because that person in the third grade called me an idiot. And now I can mm. start clearing out, even though they called me an idiot in third grade mm. Mm. and I can, and I'll start to peel the layers of the end and I'll get more clear about why I make that assumption. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and now the number will start to come down even more. Right. So that's, that, so th that's the basic of EFT. I, I like to share that before we go into tapping the way I do it, because mm -hmm. otherwise mm -hmm. people might say, it's really complicated. No, I don't no, know how to close words. <laughs> <laughs> no, that has. So, um, yeah. so what I'd like you to do is go ahead and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in and hold it. Let it go. Just allowing yourself to be present and just following your breath through your body. Just allow yourself to be aware of what's going on in there. And I want you to think about, you know, in some relationship that you have, it might be with your spouse, significant other, could be with a family member or a friend, in some relationship where you might be making assumptions about what they're thinking, about their behavior. They're doing something that's upsetting you and you're deciding, well, it's because of this. And giving yourself the chance to consider <laughs> that it's just your thinking because you haven't, especially if you haven't asked them specifically why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Also being aware of where you might be making a judgment where you're judging them for some behavior that they're doing or something that they're not doing that you think they should be doing. So looking at something that's upsetting you about your partner or about a stranger, again, it could be a very brief relationship, mm -hmm. just noticing where, where your peace is being robbed. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to feel peace because this person is doing or saying or thinking, I'm assuming they're thinking this. Mm -hmm. Just allow yourself to be aware of where you feel that upset in your body. Notice on a scale of zero to 10, it might, how strong it might be. Mm -hmm. and allow yourself to be aware of any thoughts, beliefs, or memories about why it's upsetting you. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging that it's a button inside of you that's being pushed. Because mm -hmm. if it's not a button that's being pushed inside of you, you're just a victim. You have yeah. no control. You're, you're screwed. So allowing yourself to be aware that there's a button inside me that's being pushed, allow yourself to be aware of anything that might be behind that. Take a deep breath, open your eyes and uh, just tap where I'm tapping and repeat back what I say. Yes. Even though my buttons are being pushed, even though my buttons are being pushed, I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to love and accept myself. Even though this, even though this person is pushing my buttons, even though this person is pushing my buttons, I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to love and honor myself. Even though this person is pushing my buttons, even though this person is pushing my buttons, and I'm judging their behavior, and I'm judging their behavior, and I'm making assumptions about what they're thinking, and I'm making assumptions about what they're thinking. 
And this is really robbing me of peace. And this is really robbing me of peace. And even though this person is pushing my buttons, and even though this person is pushing my buttons, I choose to deeply and completely. I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe this other person. And maybe this other person. Because I choose to be that free. Because I choose to be that free. This person is really pushing my buttons. This person is really pushing my buttons. And they're upsetting me. And they're upsetting me. I say that they're upsetting me. I say that they're upsetting me. Which means they have control over me. Mm, which means they have control over me. And I don't want them to have control over me. I don't want to have control over me. It's not that they're upsetting me. It's not that they're upsetting me. It's that they're doing or saying something. It's that it's so that they're doing or saying something. And I'm having thoughts about that. And I'm having thoughts about that. That are upsetting to me. That are upsetting to me. They're just doing what they're doing. They're just doing what they're doing. I'm upsetting myself with my thoughts. And I'm upsetting myself with my thoughts. So what are those thoughts? So what are those thoughts? What are the assumptions that I'm making? And the assumptions that I'm making. What is the meaning that I'm giving their behavior? What is the meaning that I'm giving them behavior? When they do or say these things. When they do or say these things. What am I assuming they're thinking? What am I assuming that they're thinking? I'm putting words in their mouth. <laughs> I'm putting words in their mouth. I'm putting thoughts in their head. I'm putting thoughts in their head. And the only way that I can do that. And the only way that I can do that. Is if I have those thoughts already. As if I have that, those thoughts already. If I assume that they're calling me an idiot. If I assume that they're calling me an idiot. And that's upsetting to me. And that's upsetting to me. That's because I'm already afraid that I'm an idiot. But that's, that means I'm already, I'm afraid that I'm already an idiot. And I'm really upset at them. And I'm really upset at them. For pointing out what I'm already thinking. <laughs> for pointing out what I already am thinking. I just want to pretend, I just want to pretend I don't have that thought. I just want to pretend that I don't have that thought. I want to avoid believing that. I want to avoid believing that. But if I have the thought that I'm an idiot. If I have a thought that I'm an idiot. Or whatever I'm assuming they're saying. Or whatever I'm assuming that, I'm, that they're saying. That is probably limiting me. That is probably limiting me. In all kinds of different ways. In all kinds of different ways. So I could even be grateful to this person. So even I could be really grateful to this person. For pointing out this button. For pointing out this button. Because then I can tap on that. Because then I can tap on that. Whatever the, whatever the belief is that I have. Whatever the belief that I have. That I'm an idiot or whatever. That I'm an idiot or whatever. Then I can clear that. Then I can clear that. And then if they push my button. And then if they push my button. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. I've cut the wires to that button. Mm, I cut the wires to that button. And that's real freedom. And that's real freedom. I'm owning my assumptions. I'm owning my assumptions. Okay. Until I ask that person. Until I ask that person. What they're thinking. What they're thinking. I'm just making an assumption. I'm just making an assumption. Why would I do that to myself? Why would I do that to myself? It's not because I'm bad or stupid. It's not because I'm bad or stupid. It's because that's what I've been taught to do. It's because that's what I've been taught to do. I have been taught to make assumptions. I've been taught to make assumptions. Because that's how we get through life. Because that's how we get through life. We have to learn how to live in this world. We have to learn how to live in this world. And so we, we make assumptions about things. And so we make assumptions about things. When I get to a crosswalk. When I go to a crosswalk. And the light turns green. 
and the light turns green. I have to assume that cars are going to move. <laughs> I have to assume that cars are going to move. That's a good assumption to make. <laughs> That's a good assumption to make. So not all assumptions are wrong. <laughs> so not all assumptions are wrong. I'm looking at the ones that upset me. I'm looking at the ones that upset me. And seeing where there's a misunderstanding. And see whether there's misunderstanding. Same with judgments. Same with the judgments. I've been taught to judge things. I've been taught to judge things. To figure out what feels safe for me. To figure out what feels safe for me. If I'm judging someone. If I'm judging someone. Even someone I'm in a relationship with. Or in someone I'm in relationship with. That's because part of me says. That, that's because part of me says. Something about this person isn't safe for me. Something about this person isn't safe for me. So what do I think is the threat? So what do I think? What is the threat? If it's about what they're wearing. If it's about what they're wearing. Well, why is that threatening to me? Why is that threatening to me? So whenever I'm judging someone. So whatever I'm judging someone. I'm giving myself permission. I'm giving myself permission. Or at least giving myself the chance. Or at least giving myself the chance. To be curious rather than judgmental. To be curious rather than judgmental. What about this is pushing my buttons? What about this is pushing my buttons? What about this feels threatening? What about this feels threatening? Why am I feeling fear? Why am I feeling fear? Because if I'm not feeling really good, because I'm not, if I'm not feeling really good, I'm feeling fear. I'm feeling fear. Okay. I might call it something else. I might call it something else. I might call it anger or sadness. I might call it anger or sadness. But underneath all of these uncomfortable emotions, but underneath all these uncomfortable emotions, is fear. Is fear. So what am I afraid of? So what am I afraid of? I wouldn't bother judging someone. Uh, I wouldn't bother judging someone. Unless they were pushing my button. Unless they're pushing my button. And I felt some kind of threat. And I felt some kind of threat. Because if I'm not feeling threat, because I'm not feeling threat, I'm in a much more loving place. I'm in a much more loving place. When I'm feeling a lot of love, when I'm feeling a lot of love, I'm not likely to judge people. <laughs> I'm not likely to judge people. So I'm I'm allowing myself to see. So I'm allowing myself to see that if I'm feeling judgment, that if I'm feeling judgment, there's just some threat there. There is some thread there. Which is likely a misunderstanding. Which is likely a misunderstanding. I'm forgiving myself for having that misunderstanding. I'm forgiving myself for having that misunderstanding. And I'm moving through it. And I'm moving through it. I'm processing these fears. And processing these fears. That are causing me to make assumptions. That are causing me to make these assumptions. I only do that to protect myself. I only do that to protect myself. I have all this old programming. I have all this old programming. Telling me that making assumptions. Telling me that making an assumption. And judging people. And judging people. Is going to somehow protect me. Is going to somehow protect me. But I'd rather love people. But I would rather love people. Especially the people I'm in relationship with. Yeah, especially in uh, the people I'm in relationship with. So I'm giving myself the chance. So I'm giving myself the chance. <laughs> you got to look me. At, to, to look at these feelings. <laughs> to look at the feelings. To look at these feelings. And, and say, well, would I rather judge this person? Would I rather judge this person? Or would I rather love them? Or would I rather love them? And if there's something about their behavior that is threatening, Mm -hmm. If or if something that is about their behavior that is threatening, instead of making assumptions, instead of making an assumption, I can communicate with them. I can communicate with them. When you say this, 
when you say this this is what i'm hearing <laughs> this is what i'm hearing yes and it's pushing some buttons <laughs> and it's pushing some buttons and can we clear this up can we clear this up i choose to communicate with people i choose to communicate with people and i'm clearing my fear of doing so and i'm clearing my fear of doing so setting myself free from judgment and assumptions setting myself free from judgments and assumptions so that i experience much more love so that i experience much more love in body mind and spirit in body mind and spirit and take a deep breath close your eyes go inside and think again about some situation some relationship where you might have been feeling upset and rate that again on a scale of 0 to 10 as to how upset it was and hopefully that number has come down maybe a little bit and you may have more awareness of um what thoughts or memories might be behind the upset yeah for some of you it may be wow that totally shifted and now i'm not upset about that at all and i can just totally knock that off or i can or i can feel the freedom to communicate and say hey here's right. what i hear you saying about me and it's mm. like and they can say wow Wow, I'm sorry you heard that. That wasn't my thought at all. Right, <laughs> and then we can right. move on. It's like, wow, we don't have to waste any more time being upset about things that we're just assuming. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Thank you so much for this exercise. And a couple of things that I observed that uh, during this tapping, you know, cycle, uh, at the end you you said that okay, I would rather communicate than, you know, assume, right? So communication is more important rather than just assuming and taking judgments and all. So you know what I mean after doing any tapping round I feel so cool and calm my voice is low <laughs> Okay We're so clearing out that stress most of us are carrying more stress than we know yeah. So we may be thinking I'm doing great I'm doing great and then we do some tap and it's like oh I feel better I thought I was already feeling great it's like yeah no there's already <laughs> there's there there was already some stress that that we weren't aware of and we cleared that out and it's we can yeah. feel so much better Right and uh one more thing that uh, you know you mentioned about the threat or fear that we have um i still uh, probably after this uh, conversation i'll have to think whether you know where i feel that threat or fear because during that uh, tapping cycle i didn't actually exactly you know get where i'm feeling the fear and that's why i'm assuming yeah. i'm not able to relate that exactly right now but i'll have to think you know what is the fear that you know because of that i'm assuming certain things yeah uh, yeah and so, that's the things we don't we don't ever think about that we we we're sitting there making judgments and making assumptions and and getting angry about things and we never look at what is the threat because if i weren't feeling threatened and i were feeling peace and love hmm. i wouldn't bother going into a place of making assumptions or judgments or at least not in an uncomfortable way Mm. No. Obviously there are like I, like I said about the traffic. Mm. We make um we have to make assumption, you know, it's if if I'm driving and the light turns green, I'm assuming it's safe to drive. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to but there's this this assumption that mm. um so but that's not something that causes us upset. It's mm. when we're having those assumptions that that are upsetting to us. It's like there is a there must be something some threat there must mm. be some fear underneath it i i truly believe ultimately there's there's love and there's fear <laughs> mm. we have the love of feelings like joy and gratitude yeah. we have the fear feelings like anger and sadness and guilt and mm -hmm. shame and and mm -hmm. things like that mm. so looking and going what if i'm upset what might i be afraid of mm. so i'm going to make an assumption that there's fear <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> right right and i'm going to judge that feeling as fear i'm judging mm -hmm. this, but um so if we can come from that place and 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 allow ourselves to tap as mm -hmm. we do so to, mm -hmm. to calm down the stress because the stress will keep us from thinking about it mm -hmm. when we're stressed our mind our prefrontal cortex goes offline we can't mm -hmm. think clearly right if we're really in a place of fear and stress mm -hmm. so as we tap and we calm down our nervous system we can think more clearly when we can look and go Mm. What is what am I afraid of here? Mm. So so basically you are saying that uh we need to ask ourselves if I don't assume this thing then what? Right? Probably the 
the answer is actually you know giving you a threat and that is why you are assuming yeah yeah right so yeah for you know the the take away from you know for me after this conversation is to think about you know those answers so yeah. and we yeah. and it's and it's also me looking at not we really can't stop making assumptions mm-hmm. because when we hear something mm-hmm. we're always making an assumption and and ultimately we're always judging too we're mm-hmm. always assessing things mm-hmm. it's so to to say don't ever make judgments you know we're we're looking at things assessing is this worth my time that's a judgment is this is this safe for me that's a judgment that we're making or and or likewise it it we're making an assumption about if someone says something to me i'm assu- i have to make assumptions about what it means because i can't just if you say something to me i can't just say there's no meaning to that whatsoever mm-hmm. it's just words it's just a jumble it just sounds mm-hmm. i have to just by taking in the words based on what i understand those words to mean the definitions the way that i learned english or whatever language mm-hmm. it might be I am assuming that um that this means mm. this. Mm. You know, mm. um mm. if someone says uh take out the garbage, I'm mm. assuming they mean go go and get the garbage bag and take it and 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 take it out. Mm. But but they might be meaning something totally different. If it's a personal development person saying take out the garbage, mm. you know, <laughs> they're talking about get rid of your thoughts. Okay. So I I'm, I'm always listening to words putting them together mm. and making assumptions about right. what the meaning is right. so to to say don't ever do that it's like then i can't function in life so it's right. allowing ourselves to recognize that and go okay mm. is it, it but is the assumption that i'm making mm-hmm. pushing a button where it's upsetting for me is right. it causing tension mm. is it causing turmoil in my relationship with this person right you know and yeah. if is there is there a misunderstanding that is uh so that we're not connecting mm-hmm. no that that absolutely helps right so much thank you i mean and yes uh, i i still feel like this was one to one conversation <laughs> you you actually <laughs> and yeah it is and it's a one to many conversation at the it's same time it's a one to many at the same time absolutely you know i think uh, people will get benefit from this you know this example basically okay okay thank you thank you bro is there is there anything else that you would like to suggest convey to people about um, tapping or anything you know uh one thing that i still uh, remember uh, from our last conversation that we had a couple of years back uh you mentioned that okay tapping is you know uh, you can relate it to like cleaning your house you know that we do on a regular basis it's like Uh, energy cleansing technique basically you know you clean yeah. your energy it's like brushing so, your teeth do yeah. it every day yeah yes. there are so many benefits we have the scientific research has been done shows so many um with physiological markers so many benefits from tapping just down regulating our stress boosting our immune system uh elevating our happiness there there's so many things that that we can measure the, the mm. benefits mm. why wouldn't you do it on a daily basis okay can, my, my you question watch videos you can, you can you can tap on your own you can watch videos you can do it for free yeah. you can do it while you're going to the bathroom so you can it doesn't take any more time if that's how you want to do it if it's like i have no time well there are times where you have to do something else and you can be tapping at the same time yeah. so there's no good excuse and, and not to shame anyone i'm just putting it out there please because it will benefit your life in many ways even if it's just very subtle clearing out stress and as you clear that stuff you are have greater freedom to to be of service in the ways that you can be to make the difference you can make so you up level the world mm. so it's a benefit to so many other people so that that's why i am, am so uh i i pound this <laughs> and really really try to encourage people it's like great if it's great for you but it also is great for so many other people and so mm. please please do it <laughs> yeah well, thank you thank you thank you thank you mate so thank you so much for ah it was so good session i i really thank you and thank you for your time and uh, yes in future also you know my you know talk show name is like that on extreme gratitude so <laughs> that's how i kept it because you know like i i feel 
each person has something some story some lesson to you know share and uh, they can transform people's life and you are doing it you know uh, much more way and you are doing it so so good that i can't thank you enough so <laughs> uh, yes well, thank you thank you for what you're doing this like, gratitude is is such a powerful expression of love so you know just that you would create a a, a show and and create this forum Yeah. to enhance gratitude is is so great for the world so thank you for doing that Abby. yes thank you Ed. thank you thank you for your time see you yeah and thank you everyone who spent time with us to uh up level your energy and up level the energy of the world absolutely i'll i'll put uh, bread your uh, instagram link and youtube channel as well once the video will be uploaded so people can go through this and get benefits Yeah, go and, and and please go to uh tapwithbrad.com. There's yes. a I have a free program called Tap into your best self. Yeah. And it's a 5-day program of tapping to to enhance self-esteem, enhance confidence. I so I would love for you to take advantage of that because as you clear as you do that clearing, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. experience more gratitude, more peace, more joy. So uh yeah, so take a take a look at that. It, it's a free 5-day program at tapbrad.com. Right, right. And Brad, I'm giving you one task, you know, like if you could do this video in Hindi or national language as well. <laughs> that would benefit to so many people. But uh, yes, if if you know, it, it could be done in multiple languages. so that would help so and that's i i've been very i'm fortunate that many people have have translated a lot of my videos either dubbed in mm-hmm. um like i have a friend in russia who's d- dubbed in um mm-hmm. his voice in russian over it people mm-hmm. have just written transcripts or they they put subtitles so i'm always grateful for for people doing those translations so that more people can get benefit from them yes absolutely yes yes thank you thank you man thank you so much for your time Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.